You are kind of right, my friend, but it's a little bit more complex than that. When the Western Roman Empire fell in 476 AD and was carved up into all kind of barbarian kingdoms, the barbarian kingdoms like the Ostrogoths stylized themselves as merely being part of the Roman Empire, at least in name. You see, for the first century or so, there was actually relative peace between the barbarian conquerors and the Eastern Roman Empire, which was at that point still just, it's the Roman Empire. The Ostrogothic Kingdom was technically speaking a vassal to the Eastern Roman Empire. Technically. They would maintain this relationship for a while where the Ostrogoths would pay lip service to the Emperor and then the Emperor in the East would go, well, I have bigger problems to deal with. Bigger problems being all the stuff that was going on in the East. So the status quo was effectively maintained. It was not until the mid-6th century when the Gothic Wars broke out and the Eastern Roman Empire started to fight back and take over territory from the Goths again. At one point, the Gothic King even took the Senate hostage in order to use it as a tool against the Emperor. By the end of the conflict, so many members of the Senate was dead that the institution was essentially neutered.